Welcome back. So Bill Evans is here from Channel 7, WABC. I understand you're a senior meteorologist. Yes. So what does that mean? Exactly? Uh, I happen to beat everybody here. I see. So you <laughs> walk around and and there is something to be said for, <laughs> you know, <laughs> longevity, <laughs> being here first. That's very true. All right, we need to talk hurricane season, especially for the Caribbean. Why do we have it? What is it? What is hurricane Hurricane, season? the word hurricane is the same as cyclone, uh, same as typhoon, mm. but the, the Caribbean people named it from the god, the hurricane god, which was the god of fire, called Hurricane. Okay. So over time, pirates, sailors, called it a hurricane. Perfect. You know, it's a huge tropical system. It's the largest massive tropical system on the planet. It's the largest weather system there is. And during different times of the year, hurricanes affect the Caribbean differently. Right. In the early part of the season, you see hurricanes forming mostly in the northern Caribbean. Which is when early part of the season starts? June. First part of June, okay. sometimes late in May, but hurricane season really starts June 1st to November 30th. Okay. In the early part of the season, northern part of the Caribbean, northern part of the Gulf of Mexico. They form in there, they, they move northward. The middle part of the season, you start to see hurricanes forming in and around the British West Indies. You start to see them forming uh, down uh, towards Central America, okay. toward uh, you know, a good part of South America coming up uh, into the Pacific part. The biggest hurricane season, the most prolific hurricanes, come at the end of August, 1st of September. Last two weeks of August, first two weeks of September. They're built over in the Cape Verde Islands, just off the west coast of Africa. They come all the way across. But they come in a line that takes them more close to Turks and Caicos and to Cuba, and then they either go straight into the Gulf of Mexico or they go up the Atlantic and, and head toward New York City. Okay. So the Caribbean islands, like the ABC islands, you know, mm -hmm. they're very safe from hurricanes that time of the year. So the northern part of the Caribbean in the early part of the season, the middle part of the Caribbean as we get into the more busy part of the season, August and the first two weeks in September. And then after that, we're on the downhill of the season. Late September, October, November, fewer storms, but yet at the same time, most of all those storms seem to form around, uh, right around Cancun and in that area of the Yucatan Peninsula mm -hmm. and move toward, toward the Gulf of Mexico. So the lower chain of the islands in the Caribbean are safer in the latter part of the season. Mm -hmm. Then the middle part of the early part of the season, the higher the chain up in the British West Indies uh, through there, they're a little more uh, susceptible to hurricanes. And the reality is, though, statistically speaking, the, the chances of you getting caught in a hurricane on vacation in the Caribbean, they're still pretty slim if you look at the numbers. If you look at the numbers, it's only those two weeks, the last two weeks in August and the first week in September is, is your bigger chances. And that's in the central and northern chain. Mm -hmm. You know, there's how many islands of the Bahamas? Yeah. Uh, it rarely, never, rarely ever affects all the Bahamian islands, from Abaco to Long Island. I love to go to Staramelis myself and scuba dive. Mm -hmm. So that whole chain is rarely affected entirely by a hurricane at one time. So you still have great places you, you can go to. Thanks, Bill. Mm -hmm. That's and you always want to be here. careful when there's a hurricane warning issue. Yeah, we just listen. Yeah, yeah be careful. Just heed the warnings. There's a reason for that. <laughs>